state, let me shock you. Imo state in the last 31 months has gotten a total of 631.4 billion naira. This is a sum total of. I'm, I'm, I'm coming to that. How did you get that figure? Thank you so much. Eh? The fact allocations to the state about 153 billion. Allocations to the local government 127 billion. IGR 31 billion. You have the you have the. Uh, the 13 percent derivation to the uh, in view of the oil we have in Imo state which is almost about 29 billion and other interventions about 90 billion that's the sdgs and the ubec that's 400 billion and he has also obtained loans totaling about 233.4 billion so now you have about 633.4 billion naira mismanaged in the last uh, one month by governor hope no Miss, he, he, why you say it's mismanaged thank you very much because when you get to Imo State today, you cannot see a single project that justified that such humongous amount has come to Imo State. For instance, in September 2021, he brought President Muhammad Buhari to commission an uncompleted project in Yagwa Naked the Road. And when we shouted, he said, no, it's just the first phase. President Muhammad Buhari left. That road was not completed. In September 2022, he again brought President Muhammad Buhari to commission an uncompleted Owere Okigwe road. We shouted again, said it will be completed. The one of last year has not been completed. He brought President Muhammad, I'm coming, he brought President Muhammad Buhari again to commission a project that was done 30 years ago by De Samon Bakwa, our iconic leader. He repented an old House of Assembly complex. I'm telling you, for you to understand the level of disease going on in Imo State, well, Senator Hope you, Uzodin Mabro, the Vice President of the Federal yeah. Republic of Nigeria, you raised repented. A lot of issues, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'll get you that. To respond to I'm not, I'm coming, I'm not, I'm not landed, I'm not landed. Mm. He brought the Vice President of Nigeria, repented an old and abandoned property at Amako here in Oweri, and said, Kumbaya, everybody, I have established a garment-making factory in Imo State. He went and procured eight sewing machines put in the old building. Vice President of Nigeria commissioned that building. 24 hours later, he removed all the sewing machines and shut down the place. That is the level of disease that is so going on in Imo. This, at this, point, at this now, moment, there is, no garment making, there is no garment making factory in Imo. And then, remember again, relevant rating boards have always called Imo poor in terms of development. Imo occupies the top positions in all the indices of social misery in Nigeria. For instance, today, MBS has classified us as the unemployment capital of Nigeria, with 83% of youth completely out of job. Remember today, one in every five Imo women has issues with cancer. The government of Senator mm. Hopus Odema has not, I'm coming, the government of Senator Hopus Odema okay. has not established even a well, single cancer screening center in the, in the state. The so he has not justified so, the homogos. So, no, just hang on. You, you, you,